In this video, I will show you how to set up the 3 blue 1 brown workspace using Sublime Text. It's important to note that this method only works on Mac. I have tried using it on Windows, but it doesn't work for now. If it becomes available in the future, I will pin a comment on this video to let you know. To get started, you need to have ManMGL installed. I have a video on how to install it on Mac, and the link is in the description. The first step is to define the key bindings. In the video's repository of 3 blue 1 brown, you will find the key bindings. Copy them and paste them into your configuration. The next step is to install Terminus and the Sublime Text Package Manager. I'll leave a video link showing how to do this, it's very simple. After that, you need to install the Sublime Text commands. These commands are also in the video's repository, inside the Sublime Custom Commands folder. To install them, you first need to locate Sublime Text's package folder. Open Sublime Text's console and paste the following command. This will show you the folder's location. Go to that folder and paste the files there. Restart Sublime Text, then open the file you want to run. The next step is to run a scene. Make sure that each section of your code is separated by comments. In this example, I've divided the animation into two sections. You can place the embed method wherever you want to start working. Select the scene and use the specified key binding. This will open a terminal with the command ready to run. Since I have Manum installed in a virtual environment, this command won't work directly. I need to activate the virtual environment first, before running Manum. Once the virtual environment is activated, I can run Manum. This command will open a modern GL window, which you can move around as needed. To begin working, use the checkpoint paste command followed by the comment that defines the section. For example, if I want to start here, I write the following command. Once done, select the code inside the comment and press Command plus R to render that part of the code. If you modify the code, you'll see the changes applied to the animation. Remember to save your changes before rendering. You can add as many sections divided by comments as you like. Just run the checkpoint paste command with the name of the comment before rendering the new code and save your changes. It's possible that the first time you try, it won't work, and you might encounter an error. For some reason, after restarting Sublime Text twice, it worked. Check out the original 3 blue 1 brown video for additional details that are explained there. Lastly, remember that you can hire me as a private tutor or to create custom animations. I'll leave my contact information in the video description. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next line of code.